In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between alternating and direct currents. Um, when I say alternating current, what I actually mean is an alternating source. And so what exactly makes a source an alternating one? So let us look at the most common type of alternating source, and that is your sinusoidal one. So yeah, it looks like a sine curve, and this could either be voltage or it could be current, doesn't matter. Let us use current. And one of the key features, right, and this is very important, of an alternating source is that, number one, it switches polarity. Let me write that down. It switches polarity. And so you'll see that sometimes it spends its time being positive and at other times it spends its time being negative. And this is a very important feature. If I, for example, had a source that looks like this, well, even though you can argue that sinusoidal, because it does not switch polarity, this is not an alternating source. So that's one, that's one thing. Now, the next um, condition to be uh, or considered alternating is that you must be periodic. And so you must be able to see a fixed repeated pattern. And so, of course, in this case, that is the repeated pattern over here. And so I can define something called the period. Right? And so this is, of course, the case for a sinusoidal source like this. Now, for example, if I gave you another negative example, mm -hmm, something like that, which went, well, it switches polarity, but it does all kinds of funny things. Right? I can't really identify any fixed repeated pattern here, so there's no defined period. So this is not considered an alternating source as well. And so at the end of the day, remember, these are the two conditions, one, two, to be alternating. 